Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. Christopher Barrett, who is Destiny 2's new project lead, has been tweeting out some really interesting stuff as of late. And honestly guys, if you do not follow Christopher Barrett on Twitter, you need to go do so if you want to know what is going on in this game. He is a very social person and he's very good at engaging the community, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about some of the tweets specifically that he's been sending out regarding Destiny 2's current loadout system. Now, Destiny 2's loadout system has been one of the biggest complaints within the community. For those of us who played Destiny 1, we know that the loadout system was very different. In Destiny 1, you had a primary, special, and heavy slot, and all of your snipers, shotguns, and fusion rifles fit into that special slot. So, in a sense, you could carry, say, a hand cannon, a sniper rifle, and a rocket launcher all at the same time. It felt very powerful, and it was very good for dealing damage on bosses. But largely to suit PvP in Destiny 2, we now have what is essentially two primary weapons, one that's kinetic and one that is an energy weapon, and then all of the powerful weapons, your shotguns, snipers, swords, everything, all lumped into one single slot. Not a lot of people like this new system, myself included, although admittedly, there are certain times where it is fun to have a scout rifle and a hand cannon equipped at the same time, but if I had to choose over a scout rifle and a hand cannon or a hand cannon and a sniper rifle, I'm taking that sniper rifle, guys. And honestly, I feel like the majority of the community would agree with picking the old school Destiny 1 loadout system. So all that being said, let's go ahead and get back to Christopher Barrett's tweets over on Twitter. Somebody recently asked Mr. Barrett if they would bring back Thorn. Christopher Barrett replied, only if I can equip Ephrodites and BTRD-345 at the same time. For those of you who aren't aware of those weapons, Ephrodites was a sniper rifle and BTRD was a heavy machine gun. Heavy machine guns, of course, have been removed completely. Somebody then asked, is that a hint that the old weapon system is coming back? To which Christopher Barrett replied, just fond memories, being super cheeky, as the Brits would say. Now, at first glance, this seems like just a casual off-the-cuff remark from Christopher Barrett that doesn't need any thought put into it. It just seems like he was kind of having fun with somebody and maybe just teasing them a little bit. However, there have been some more tweets from Christopher Barrett that suggest otherwise. Just last night, Christopher Barrett had this to say on Twitter. Destiny 2 needs more weapons that matter, both in power and the hunt to acquire them. Exotics need to live up to their name. The most skillful or visceral weapons like snipers, shotguns, and fusion rifles need to return to glory. We're on it. And in a follow-up tweet, he specifies that this might not have come across strong enough in the update. The Sandbox team is an amazingly talented group and we are hard at work on changes. Now this is the tweet that made me make this video because this one really stands out. Not only is it the first time that Bungie themselves have actually said that snipers, fusion rifles, and shotguns as a group need to be reworked, but Christopher Barrett himself has also said that he wants the old Destiny 1 system to return as the tweet I showed you at the beginning insinuated. Now if that wasn't a compelling enough argument, to suggest that these changes might actually happen in the near future, somebody then told Christopher Barrett it's time for Bungie to put up or shut up, essentially. I'm, of course, cleaning that up quite a bit. But nonetheless, Christopher Barrett's response was, it's happening. Pinnacle weapon and gear improvements, weapon and ability balance passes, weapon slot and archetype improvements, that's the big one, and then exotic weapon and armor balance pass. Now, guys, I do want to stress something before we continue this talk. And that is that this is, of course, all speculation and reading between the lines. But that being said, this all seems to be pointing in the direction of a return of the Destiny 1 loadout system. With Christopher Barrett acknowledging the three specific weapons that everybody wants to move back into the middle slot, which is your snipers, shotguns, and fusion rifles, and adding that there are going to be slot changes. That's the big one. Slot changes. That's not nerfing an archetype. That's not buffing an auto rifle. That is changing one of the weapons in an entire slot of your loadout. Now, as always with stuff like this, I would advise you guys to take this with a pinch of salt and manage your expectations accordingly. Because even if this does become an actual thing, which as of right now, we don't have any solid word from anybody at Bungie that it will, but if it does, you cannot expect this in the next expansion. This is a total rework of the loadout system at earliest, I would expect to see this in the big fall expansion later this year. But to be perfectly honest with you guys, Christopher Barrett is the best person to be in charge of this game right now. Because not only is he a huge fan of Destiny, but he relates to many of the members of this community, and he listens to them. 
Christopher Barrett truly does want this game to be what you want this game to be. And for that reason, honestly, that has renewed my expectations and my feelings for Destiny. The moment that I heard Christopher Barrett was taking over, I mean, it was like a shot of adrenaline went into my system because I knew that this would be the man that would drag this game back. And on that note, this video is going to come to an end. Drop a comment in the box below and let me know if you would like the Destiny 1 loadout system to return or if you'd like to stick with the Destiny 2 loadout system. If you enjoyed this video, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.